everyone, welcome into the At Flippin' Hippo's YouTube channel. I'm Star of the Flippin' Hippo. Today we're going to take a look at all of the plush that sold on eBay in the month of August. So welcome into plush that sold on eBay. Most of these plush that I'm about to show you either came from the Goodwill at a cost of goods of 50 cents or from our wholesale lot that we purchased at the beginning of the year from our viewer Greg and those averaged out to about a dollar to two dollars a piece in some instances some of these came from Goodwill and I paid a little bit more for them but generally speaking I do source most of my plush out of a 50 cent bin at a Goodwill local to us or I get them wholesale um, most of them ship first class I will tell you when they don't because that's important to the price um, I do build shipping into the cost on most of our plush that are first class and um, offer free shipping, which isn't really free, folks. You have to build it into the price. And then on plush that weigh over a pound, I typically charge a calculated shipping on, so I lower the price a little bit. You'll see as we go through, if you're new to the channel um, and you haven't seen one of these plush videos yet, they're pretty cool. I'm going to show you every single plush that's sold on the eBay platform in the month of August and just talk a little bit about each one why it's good or why it wasn't a good choice like we'll start with this Gans Webkin's dragon it only sold for eleven twenty four. typically dragons are really good animals to source they do well for me um, but this particular one didn't comp that high unfortunately and with the Gans they those are hit or miss and I've talked about those before um, I've seen GANs with sealed codes sell for less than ones with no codes. I think it really depends on the animal. Can the code add more value if it's still intact? Yes, but I really think it depends on the animal. Um, you know, is it oversaturated? Is it one of the sought after characters? Is it harder to find? Is it retired? And I don't really want to stand in Goodwill and comp them all the time. So whenever I find them for 50 cents or even less than that, sometimes at church sales for like a quarter or whatever, I just bring them all home and take the chance. Worst case scenario, I make a buck or two profit. It's bread and butter. It brings traffic to the store. It brings volume in our sales. Um, so this dragon was one of those that I got home and comped pretty low. But typically your Gans webcams are going to be a good gamble and dragons are really good. Next up we have Lucifer here. He's from Cinderella, the Disney cartoon, and I took a best offer of $12.68 on Lucifer. He did ship first class. I do pick up all Disney plush that I find um, all the time and run the risk. Some of it's worth a lot and some of it isn't. Um, I figured Lucifer is more of an elusive character. He's harder to find and uh, he'd go for a little bit more. A little disappointing, um, but typically villains do well, especially harder to find villains. And actually, we're going to close these out as we go. All right, next up we have a Boyd's Bears. This is Millie. She's part of the Best Dressed collection. Boyd's Bears do well if they're part of a collection or if there's something special about them. The plainer ones I don't have good luck with, but the ones like this that are super cute and have like a theme... I do well with. This one actually sold pretty fast too. I took a best offer of $12.59 on Millie and she shipped first class. Then we have this giant beaver from our wholesale lot. I listed him for $19.99 plus calculated shipping. So I took a best offer of $16 on him since they paid the shipping. And uh, he shipped in a box a large mailing box. If you didn't catch my video last week um, about Shipping Plush and it was called Shipping Plush 101, I talked extensively in that video about how we mail our first class, what poly mailers we use, and how we mail these uh, plush that weigh over a pound, what boxes I order, and how we ship them. I'll have that pop up at the end for you guys if you haven't watched it yet. It's a valuable video for those of you that are just learning plush and how to ship them. Then we have a Care Bears Funshine Bear. Of all the Care Bears, I feel like I do the best with Funshine. Funshine usually sells the fastest for me and comps the highest. But all Care Bears are good. Um, I would source any Care Bears I found in the wild 
with the exception of if it had a ridiculous cost of goods or something. But if they're like a couple bucks or less, I grab all of them, whether they're new, vintage, Kelly toy, Care Bears, whatever the brand, whatever the Care Bear. Um, but if you want to know which ones go the fastest, it's usually Funshine and Cheer Bear. This one sold for $14.99 and shipped first class. Then we have a Feisty Pets. This is Cuddles Von Rumblestrut. He's a guinea pig. He's one of the exceptions to where I sourced him. He was actually sourced in Florida last year around this time. We went down there for Halloween and I found him in a Goodwill down there for $1.99. These Feisty Pets are super cool and super cute. So they look like normal and cute and then you squeeze the sides of their face and they get mean. I've had a narwhal as well. I haven't found very many of these, only two ever in the wild. There was a narwhal and then this guinea pig. This one sold for $23.99 and shipped first class, but it did go in a small box because I wanted to protect it. It had all of its nice hang tags and I didn't want its, um, the mechanics to the face squeezing thingy to get hurt in shipping. Next up, we have a Goodnight Moon Lovey. If you're new to plush and you aren't familiar with loveys, loveys are typically little tiny blankets with a head or partial body of a plush attached to it. They are not full size blankets. They are very small. Um, and they usually have just the head or a partial body of a plush attached. And then you can call them loveys, security blankets, baby soothers. There's a lot of really good keywords you can throw in with them. Plushies are bolos. Uh, the lower end ones like this one you can see sold for $14.99. I've had some that went up to $30, $40, and even $50. Keep your eyes peeled for loveys. Next up we have a Build-A-Bear Workshop Bear. This one sold for $18 and it's a plain tan bear. So when I tell you guys, don't be afraid to grab those plain Build-A-Bears that aren't popular characters from cartoons or TV shows that are just like a plain brown bear or brown dog. I sell them for $17 to $20 all the time. And this is an example of one of those and it shipped first class. And then we have a Disney Store Frozen Toddler Elsa doll. This kind of was disappointing. Um, she was from the Disney store, so I thought she'd do really well, but I kind of feel like after the popularity of Frozen 2 went away and it kind of died down, the plush value went down, especially Elsa, Anna, and Olaf. They're very oversaturated on eBay. Um, I did take a best offer here on Elsa of $11, and she shipped first class. Then we have this Homer Best Sloth. You guys, Homer Best is a brand you should definitely be keeping an eye out for. And sloths are one of those animals that are more obscure and do a little bit better. This one sold to one of our viewers, and we appreciate the support, for $17.09. Shipped first class. Then we have an Easter Parade bunny. So this is kind of a generic brand, Easter Parade, but it's realistic and realistic animals do really well. Any animal, wild animal, tame animals, dogs, cats, whatever, when they look realistic like this, they do really, really well. So even though it was a generic brand, it sold for $23.43 and shipped first class. Next up, I'm gonna show you two seals together. This is a Wild Republic seal. It's a spotted sea lion and then this Mary Meyer seal pup. The reason I'm showing you them together is because one buyer purchased both. She um, did best offers. It came out to $17.50 for both seals and they went together in a poly bag first class. Wild Republic is a brand you should be looking for and I do really well with seals. Seals and lambs for some reason. Next up we have a Paddington bear. Uh, very disappointing. I found a Paddington Bear and I was so excited. I thought I'd get home and comp it and it'd be worth 20 bucks. Nope. Um, I've had Paddington Bears that went for a lot more money. This one, for whatever reason, um, maybe he's more saturated now than the other ones I had a couple years ago. But this one sold for 
Shipped first class. Then we have a Ziggy and Friends doll from the comic strip, if you guys remember that. Another one I found for 50 cents and decided to risk it, knowing where it came from. Sold for $11.24. Shipped first class. Then we have Chewbacca from Angry Birds Star Wars. Sold for $13.50. I do keep my eyes peeled for Angry Birds, especially any of them that are more unique than the just plain red ones. This is another Gans Webkins. This is a hamster. So super cute. Took a best offer for the hamster of $10. It shipped first class. Here we have a Hershey Kiss from the Petting Zoo. If you didn't know, the Petting Zoo is part of the Hershey Amusement Park in Hershey, Pennsylvania. It's just something to keep your eyes out for. This kiss sold for $11.99, shipped first class. Next up, we have Looney Tunes Tweety Bird from Six Flags. And Tweety Bird has some angel wings and a halo. So a little bit more unique of a Tweety Bird than just your run-of-the-mill Tweety Birds that are kind of saturated. This one sold for $14.99, shipped first class. Here's another Gans Webkins I took a gamble on. This one's a unicorn. Typically, unicorns are really good animals to source, kind of like dragons and other mystical creatures like mermaids and such. This one sold for $11.99, shipped first class. Then we have a Tigger with a scarf, and this is just a Mattel Tigger, so it sold for $9.99. Uh, your Tiggers and your Winnie the Poohs, your Piglets, things like that are kind of oversaturated, and your Disney Store, your Disney Parks are going to do a little bit better than your Mattel, your Hasbro, and things like that. Next up, we have an Angry Birds from the movie. Rio, right? Nope. Just the regular Angry Birds movie. I don't know why I thought this one was from Rio. Just from Angry Birds. Um, he's cute. He's got like legs. He's a little bit different than the typical red one you see. And he sold for $13.99. Shipped first class. Next up we have a manatee. This um, had no tag so it was like kind of considered to me a generic no brand. So I did sell it for a best offer of $11.75. Had it been Wild Republic or Animal Adventure or something like that, I probably could have gotten a little bit more for it. Here's another Gans Webkins. This one had a sealed code and sold for $12. It's a little koala bear. Shipped first class. Another Gans Webkins. Sold a lot of those this month. This is a lemur. This one did not have a code and sold for a best offer of $10.49. Shipped first class. Next we have a Beanie Boo. This is Buckwheat the Lynx. Super cute. Got orange glitter eyes. Got little tufts of hair on his ears. Uh, these Beanie Boos will surprise you. Sometimes I get them home and they'll comp $20 or more. Sometimes they're between $10 and $15. They're just something else that when I find them for 50 cents I buy them all, bring them home, um, and take that gamble. Buckwheat here sold for $12.99 and shipped first class. Here we have a hippo. This one um, is the Bear Factory. So it has like a little bit longer of a body, kind of like a teddy bear. This sold for best offer of $11 and shipped first class. Then I have another koala here that sold. This is a Build-A-Bear koala bear. And it sold for $14.99 and shipped first class. I have two of these poos. Let's show you the poos real quick. I have this poo and this poo. They're basically the same Winnie the Pooh. They're both Coles Cares. Um, one measured at 15 inches, one at 14. One had better tags, one had faded tags. Anyway, one poo sold for 11, one sold for 12 on best offers. They both shipped first class. And then we have this Pokemon Center EV 6 inch plush. Typically, Pokemon Center is a Bolo brand, a really good brand of Pokemon to keep your eyes out for. Um, I don't know if it's because this EV was so small or because it's EV and she's not as popular, but this one only sold for 10.30. Shipped first class. 
Then we have a Disney Store Dopey Plush. I did find six of these guys in the wild. I did not find the full set, so I've been selling them um, alone, one by one. Dopey sold for $11.99. He shipped first class. Speaking of lambs, I do really well with lambs. And speaking of Animal Adventure, Animal Adventure is a good brand, just like Wild Republic. And this lamb, um, I did put lovey as a keyword. Typically when I find these really soft um, plushies that are meant for babies or infants, I will use the word lovey as a keyword here as well as with the security blanket types I showed you. Um, this lamb sold for $18.74 and shipped first class. Speaking of the plain red Angry Birds, this is the one I mean. I still source them when I can find them for 50 cents. This one sold for a best offer of 10. Um, of course, you know, the other characters are going to sell for more. The red bird is really kind of oversaturated. Here's a Nestle Butterfinger Teddy Bear. Sold for $10.79 on a best offer. Shipped first class. I grabbed it up because I'd never seen a Nestle plush before. I've seen plenty of Hershey, never a Nestle. Kind of disappointing, but hey, he was bread and butter, so off he went to his new forever home. Next we have Yo Gabba Gabba Backpack. So this is Fufa, that's the character, and she's a backpack. She sold for a best offer of 15 one five, and shipped first class. I have a Christmas Dancing Pal. It's a moose that sings and is animated, and it came in new in its box. The only thing is the box had some damage to it, um, which I did disclose. The box has cosmetic damage from department store stickers and is crushed, bent, and ripped in spots. Details and pictures, and then I just took pictures of everything and showed it so they could see what they were getting. But it's still considered uh, in the box. It does work. It did weigh over a pound on its own before it was even boxed up. Sold for $25.99 plus shipping in addition to that. Here is uh, Sully from Disney Pixar Monsters, Inc. In his little college shirt. So cute. He sold for a best offer of $10.80 and shipped first class. Then I have a Warner Brothers Studio Store Scooby-Doo. There's a tag. You can see Warner Brothers Studio Store. Vintage from 1999. This is Fred from Scooby-Doo. And it sold for $14.06. Shipped first class. Homer Best. Speaking of Homer Best, again, like the sloth, this is a good brand, you guys. Keep your eyes out for it. The bunny sold for $15.93 and shipped first class. And it's an Easter Bunny, so that just shows you that um, holiday stuff sells all year round. Everything sells all year round. I always tell people, list your jeans in the summer and your shorts in the winter and your Easter Bunnies at Christmas and your Christmas plush in the summer because things sell all the time. You'd be surprised. And then we have a, another lovey here. This is Cloud Island, which is a Target brand. And this one has like the little plush whale with the security blanket. This one sold for nine, sorry, 18 on a best offer. Accepted a best offer of 18, ship first class. And then last but not least, you guys may remember the peeps I was so, so excited about when I brought it home. It was in a haul video. I had never seen a peep this large. It's 15 inches long. I only paid 50 cents for this too. That's why I was so excited. I usually find the really tiny peeps, the rabbits and the chickens. And they sell for like 12 to 15 bucks. When I found this giant 15 inch one, um, it had a weighted bottom. It was really heavy. It was almost two pounds on its own, even without the box. So keep your eyes out for these peeps, guys, these giant peeps. They do weigh more than a pound, um, but our buyer paid $28.12 for the peep and then paid shipping in addition on top of that. I believe the whole order was something close to 40 bucks, including shipping. Um, so that's a pretty good flip, especially considering mine was only 50 cents. But keep your eyes out for these big peeps, guys. And uh, that's all the plush that sold in August on the, on the 
eBay platform. What I'm going to start doing next month in October, I will be doing a plush video um, that also includes the plush, plush that sold on Poshmark and Macari. We are starting to pick up on Macari a little bit and sell a little more plush over there and Poshmark as well. And that way you guys can see all the plush that sell on all the platforms, not just eBay, because I do like to show you guys um, every single plush that sells since plush is my jam. It's my favorite thing to sell and uh, it's what I like to teach about the best. Speaking of, if you're new to plush and you want to learn more, I do have a plush guide available. It has a booklet with it that talks about FAQs concerning flipping plush. There's a lot of um, myth busting in this little booklet where I talk about the myths of selling plush. And then it has a spreadsheet guide broken up into bolos, bread and butters, and no lows, which are the opposite of bolo, brands you don't want to buy. And it has all of the plush broken up that way. And then it has their average sale price, their sell through rate, how fast they sell, what your target buy price should be, the average cost of shipping. It's a really informative guide. It comes with a lot of information in it. And right now it is on sale for 50% off. So you can grab your copy for only $10 using a code that you got, you can get in our Facebook group. So you have to be a member of our Facebook group to get the code. Our Facebook group is free to join. And it's a really good group of really nice people from all over the reselling community. It, I mean, it's my group, but it, it really is the best group on Facebook as far as reselling. It's the most laid back, um, most respectful people. A lot of new resellers are in there and you can ask questions and not be made to feel dumb. People are really nice in there. So join the group. It's free to join. It's called the Flippin' Hippos Reseller Pod. There's a link in the description box down below. Once you're in the group, go through the announcements and you'll find the code to use to get your plush guide for only $10. I am extending the sale a little bit. It was supposed to end at the end of August. All right, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up before you leave. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and help us feed a hungry hippo. Until next time, go be productive, go make some money. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. You guys are the best. Bye.